How to name or title your missions. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Servalo. Today we're going to talk about naming your missions, the mission structure, problems with naming your missions, and other information. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Stratus. Here we are on Stratus, and what we're going to do is we're going to place a player. Let's say we created a mission, and we're going to name it. There's a couple ways to do this. You could either click the save icon here, which will bring up the save as dialog box, or you can go to scenarios and then save, save or save as. All three will do the same thing for a new mission. We're gonna save this mission and save it on Stratus. We're just gonna name this mission Base Assault. Now we named our mission most players, mostly new players, they will name their mission, if the mission name is like one word, then there's not going to be an issue with the name. People might be wondering, well, what issue would naming your missions cause? If you name your mission with two or more words, for example, as what I named my mission here, Base Assault, we're going to save this and I'll show you why. So as you can see here, it says Base Assault dot Stratus. So one thing before we go to the mission folder and I show you the structure of the mission, the mission is saved on the map. So you have the mission name and then you have dot stratus. So dot stratus is the what's called a map extension. Extension is what the game reads in terms of where your mission is based on. Obviously, we know what terrain it is, but for the sake of naming a mission and porting it and other things related to it, if you're missing an extension on your mission, it could actually break the mission. What I'd like to point out here, if we go to the Scenarios tab and you go down to where it says Open the Scenarios folder, this is a pretty direct and quick way to get to your Scenario folder. So let's go to the Scenario folder. Okay, now we're looking at our mission folder and at the top of the folder it says base percent 20 assault dot stratus something i want to point out anytime you create a mission with two or more words and you have a space in between the words the game is going to add a percent 20 in between those words because it does not like spaces you could either manually change this or you could just use an alternative. Before we get to that, as a normal structure of a mission, anytime you create a mission, you're gonna have a folder, and inside that folder, you're gonna always have a script file named mission.sqm. Now the mission SQM you don't really want to mess with. It's extremely rare to have to open the mission SQM and do something to adjust something or change anything. You really do not and you should not mess with the mission sqm there's only one instance in my opinion where you could do something in the mission sqm which would be well i don't have any add-ons being used by the mission but normally it'll say class add-on list and you'll have a list of add-ons like say mods and you'll have the class names or information from those mods listed here and if you have like a mod dependency that you're trying to get rid of then you could uh, remove the line but there's an alternative to that but that's another subject what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this mission and I'll show you this uh, way to change the mission so basically I'm gonna go to my stratus folder and here's our mission here base assault that stratus remove this percent 20 and you put underscore there you're able to see it more clearly than with the percent 20 some players might be lazy and and it doesn't it's not important to them but if you're like me and work with a lot of scripts and codes and this and that and you have to go back and forth in in and out of your mission folder then trying to initially locate your mission folder amongst the other missions that you have having a percent 20 in the mission name if it's two or more words proves to be difficult in some cases so usually having a dash like this or an underscore in your mission will enable you to see your mission clearly we're going to delete this mission and we're going to create a new mission and you're going to see 
what the game does when you use a dash or an underscore, which is not going to be surprising. Create a new mission, new scenario, the player down, which will enable us to save the mission and create a new mission. And then we're going to put this on Stratus. We're going to name this base underscore assault. We'll save that. And as you can see at the top right, it adds an underscore assault dot Stratus to it. And if we go to the mission folder itself, you'll see that the game automatically follows what you typed out. The game doesn't like spaces, so base assault a lot more clearly read. One more thing I want to point out to this is there's a mission naming standard depending on what type of mission you have. There is actually a forum thread on BI forums that we can take a look at. Let's go there now. So here we are on BI forums and I want to show you a thread that I created a few years ago. This is going to be under Arma 3 user missions and this is a pin thread it says mission name standard this thread was originally created by celery and he created this thread in arma 1 and in arma 208 that's why i linked him here i just recreated the thread based on what he did and just made some things stand out more the point of this thread is those who are making multiplayer missions even single player missions but this mission name standard is kind of based on how you would name your missions and how these missions are seen in a server list so the admin or whomever is choosing the mission can clearly see what the mission is how many players it's for what type of mission it is other aspects to it like if it requires mods in this thread there are various components to naming your missions you have a game type maximum number of players mission name obviously and then if you scroll down it gets it gets more complex it really depends on your goals who the mission is for who's going to use it is it a single player mission is it a multiplayer mission if it's a single player mission you could probably just put a bracket left bracket single sp for single player or right bracket and then your mission name or you could just leave it as it is it really depends who the mission is for in in some instances it really doesn't matter but in others it really helps those admins who run large squads or groups or even uh, units to help determine what the mission is so if we scroll down even more we have information about mods leagues and squads so I'm not going to read these, but you guys should get an example of the types of missions, how you can name your missions, versions, etc. And then you have missions using add-ons, basically mods, what the mission is, how many players, what mods being used, uh, version, etc. And then you have a player amount. Then you have game type, types of missions, and these are mainly multiplayer. So you have cooperative uh, deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture and hold, sector control, capture the flay, CTI is in conquer the island. Now there is a link here, which is the multiplayer game type wikis. Let's go there a second. And this is the updated list of all the known mission types that are currently in Armor 3. So you have, you know, your basic ones that we read off the list. And then you have stuff like Koth. Last Man Standing, Survive Zeus, Apex, Escape, Patrol, Vanguard, Warlords, other types of missions. If we go further down, you could see the file names that I was talking about earlier. And this kind of goes over. It says basically use underscores in place of spaces and don't use periods. If you, if you have a period in the name of your mission, leave it out. If the version number uses a period, replace it with a hyphen in the file name. I will link this thread in the description of the video and even pin it in the first comment of the video. That's it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this useful and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.